My name is Elizabeth Crispolisi. I publish a blog called Tech for Luddites, providing tips and tricks for navigating our digital world. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can switch from text to HTML mode when writing your WordPress blog posts. One of the great things about WordPress is that you can actually write uh, your blog posts using HTML, which for those of you who have that skill, gives you a lot more control. So what you'll do is when you go into your dashboard and you want to add a new post, and you can do this for pages as well as posts, but I'll, I'm just showing you for the post right now, you'll see there are two different tabs. There's a visual tab and a text tab. Now the visual tab works like any uh, you know, WYSIWYG editor. So if I write something and I want to bold it, I just I will simply uh, highlight it, click the B key like I would in any program like Word, and that's my WYSIWYG. But if I want to have full control of HTML, I want to go over to the text tab. Even though it's called text, this is where you would actually write HTML. Let's say I wanted to do something uh, like add a div tag uh, so that I can do some special formatting. Um, so I could do div style equals text align center and then close out the div on the next line and when I go back to the visual tab we'll see that I've now centered the text. So using the text tab is the way that you get full HTML control. Now one thing I do want to show you is uh, with the visual tab, when you install WordPress by default, it comes up with this one row of buttons, but there's actually a second row hidden here under this button called Show Hide Kitchen Sink. And it's a lot of people don't know about this, so it's really good. If you click it, you're gonna get a whole bunch of more options, including things like using a text color, um, adding different uh, built-in styles. So, and, and one of my favorite ones is you can insert custom characters like M dashes or pound signs, uh, as in the British pound sign, that uh, you may not remember the codes for. So these are all really great features. Now the one thing you have to be careful of, if, you've, if you're starting from scratch, this is all going to work exactly the way I showed you. But if you're working on a site that maybe somebody else was working on, if you go into the user panel, um, you will see that when you go into a user profile, you have the option of disabling the visual editor for that user. So if somebody has done that uh, for whatever reason and then uh, updated their profile, when you go in as that user and you try and write a new post, you're not going to have the visual editor anymore. You just have the text one. So if you ever come to a site and, and you see that and you're wondering what happened to my visual editor, go check out the user settings and that's probably where the issue is. So there you go. You can see how easy it is to switch from text mode to HTML when you're writing your WordPress blog posts. Great feature, gives you a lot more control. I hope you found this video helpful. I'm Elizabeth Crispolisi with Tech for Luddites. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.